Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy Chris Starfire and on this episode we're gonna be making some elo kibble to tame a griffin. Now I know you're probably all wondering, Chris, we know how to make elo kibble. Chris, this is a new content. Well, the whole purpose of this video is it seems anything I do that has to do with griffins gets over a thousand views. So I'm trying to get those views and trying to get those subs. You feel me? You feel me? Okay. So pretty much what we did here is I tamed a bunch of aloes. Everything we did here was normal, so I did not use God Console. Even though you see God Console on the edge of my screen, I didn't use it. But we're just going to breed a bunch of them, and we're going to get everything here naturally. Now, in case you're wondering how to get super elo kibble, it's pretty much the same process of making regular kibble. Regular elo kibble, except use the hormones while you're breeding. So we're going to breed these guys right here, and we're going to get their egg. And we're going to use it to make um, some elo kibble. So while they're mating, one thing um you guys know, last video, not last video, but a few few videos ago, I was talking about how the new taming method for griffins is gonna have um cannibalism, and it did. He used the actual griffin kibble to do it. So let's get the head right here. It seems to be a little bit of a challenge, but I should be able to reach it. Let's move these arrows out the way. They're kind of annoying. Okay, and got it. Okay, guys, we're back, and now we're getting some prime meat, the full ingredient. We're going to kill these two bronzos here. They should give me enough prime meat. I'm not sure, but if they don't, I think there's a stego close by, and there's also a diplo. So let's kill these guys pretty quick, and let's get on with it. Of course, you notice my trike is flying. That's not on purpose. Um, this is my single-player game, and it seems that ever since I... Um, God, God Council, everything on the game is glitching out. Because if I have Fly on and I ride a tame, it seems that that tame gains the ability to fly forever. And sometimes I don't even have to fly with it. It's just weird. Even wild creatures. Like an episode where I was trying to tame a horse. What's the name again? Whatever. It gained the ability to fly while I was taming it because I mounted it. And it was pretty weird. It pretty much ran away from me, but it was flying. So we should get enough prime meat. I actually did not see a lot of prime meat there, but we're going to keep on working on it. Um, that is definitely not enough. I don't even think we got prime meat from that one, so let's kill something else. Let's go kill that Diplo behind us, but let's just level up something here, because, yeah. We always, we want melee. This strike is pretty much for fighting because um, carnivores eat their meat, but I need the meat in this case, so we're gonna leave it there. And the diplos down pretty much. It was a level five. wasn't too hard. We should get enough prime meat. I think diplos give a good amount of prime meat, and yes, we got enough prime meat. I think it's more than six. Let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think it was about seven. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. But now with one more ingredient down, all we need next is um, save root and something else. And I think long grass. So we're going to quickly make a greenhouse and we're going to leave those there. And of course, you know you have to cook the prime meat in case you're wondering. It has to be cooked prime meat. I don't know why, but that's how it works. So let's just put this prime meat, um, I think we need major berries too, so we'll keep those handy. Let's quickly go put these in the frizz before they rot me.
Okay, let's put the rest of the meat here so at least my tames have something to eat, just in case. Because we don't really need the rest of the meat. Okay, so this is my industrial cooker, of course. This is where we're going to be making the kibble. Since I placed the industrial cooker here, I was like, I might as well just put my greenhouse in front of the house. So we do have some space here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to place some um, glass doors and stuff so there's space. So we want to make sure it's exactly right as how I want it because it's going to go over. This is of course sped through gameplay so we're going to speed up right here because it took me quite long to record this part. And um, yeah. And it doesn't, it seems that block of space is not enough for my um, actual crop plot. So what we're probably going to have to do is we're going to have to stretch this out. And um, probably we're going to have to add some pillars. Because I think two blocks is as far as it's going to be able to go out. But we're going to see. Yeah, I think I'm just going to have to add more stone ceilings to go over. Okay guys, so we're back and I was able to add what I needed to add and I fixed a few stuff. Of course we have our plants right here. This is um, for the mijo berries. We don't really need a mijo berry plant, so we're going to plant everything else like the save root. And we're putting as much fertilizer as possible as we do have because um, we, don't, we don't want that to go back. Of course it has 300 plus percent because it's surrounded by um, greenhouse stuff and it should be pretty good. We have the rest of the plants down, and we're going to get a little more fertilizer to add. As you see, I stretch it out. I was able to figure out the thing with the... Yeah. You know. Let's put long grass here and put some fertilizer. And I'm making sure the water is actually reaching it. Yes, it's growing now. I think I'm going to have more long grass than save root for some reason. Just, I don't know. And that should be enough. No. We don't really need the media berries, as I said before, but whatever. We're going to work with that now. I'm going to complete that later. You see the side, it's kind of broken open. We're going to complete that. Yes, just to make sure it's working. Okay, guys, showing you the recipe one last time before we finally make it because we pretty much have everything. Of course, you know how to get fiber. Fiber is pretty easy to get. Now we go over to industrial cooker and this is the fun part. We already have the ingredients there except for prime meat. We turn it on and there you go guys. Pretty simple. That's how you make yellow kibble. On the next episode we're going to be taming one with a god console because of course now you can upgrade griffins. So if you upgrade them high enough their um, food bar goes down. So thank you guys for watching. Do me a favor like and subscribe on this video. I really need the subs so go ahead. And stay tuned because next episode we're obviously going to be taming a griffin with god console. So it's going to be pretty a pretty high level. So let's go ahead and do that since no one believes me.